So, um, hello, I'm Alison Prenderville, Professor of Service Design at LCC University of the Arts, London. Um, my area of research is in service design and particularly within um, healthcare contexts. But my um, focus at the moment is on tackling antimicrobial resistance. Antimicrobial resistance is um, caused by the overuse and misuse of antibiotics and what it results in is that anti antibiotics will no longer work and increasingly infections will no longer be treatable. Antimicrobial resistance is a global challenge but it just disproportionately affects countries um, with um, weakened or non-existent healthcare infrastructures so this particularly impacts countries in the global south. And our role really as the design researchers has to be sort of map very complex system. And one of the things we identified in ASAM, for example, is there were the, lots of assumptions are made around what the diagnostic should be and that it should be in a primary healthcare centre. Very early on, we recognised that in fact, people with UTI were not going to the primary healthcare centres. And I should just set a bit of context that we're talking about primary healthcare centres being in rural communities, but the village people being maybe two hours away. So access is difficult. And so when we even started speaking about UTI, there was this sort of almost, no, we don't know what this is. We don't have it in the community. However, from a design research point of view, we then went away and visualised what the symptoms were. And we took these back as visual tools. And we were very fortunate to work with um, the ashes and the ashes in India are called they're the accredited social health activists and they're key health women who work with the community. So we visualise the uh, symptoms of UTI and when we had focus groups with the ashes they identified immediately that this was a recurring problem in the community. In fact the particularly the women suffer on an ongoing basis of UTI every six to eight weeks. So we've moved from a diagnostic being in a primary healthcare centre, but working with our team in Edinburgh and our team in India to create a really simple paper-based test. And this test is just one step in a way of building knowledge for a community member to know what is actually happening, why they're having these symptoms. And if it turns out with our test that you are positive, and as I said, this is really, this is being prototyped at the moment and that we've still got some time to go in terms of its performance and specificity. But the idea is that if it is positive, you will be fast-tracked to the primary healthcare centre and there you will be issued by the doctor the most appropriate antibiotic to treat the UTI. We've also created a data management flow which is purely analogue, no digital because there's not the infrastructure there, but a way in which actually the, the test results will be captured by the ashes and this will be fed back to the primary healthcare centres and ultimately to the tertiary hospital so that surveillance data can start to be built in around the AMR within that um, environment. So when you're working in a transdisciplinary project, one of the challenges is actually to get all the different disciplines to work together. Um, particularly with a subject like AMR, everybody has their own um, understanding of the problem and their all, also their own expertise. One of the things that design has really worked at um, within this um, uh, complex disciplinary mix is by visualising and sharing, co-creating knowledge amongst the team. So as well as working with the community and prototyping ideas and really getting close um, feedback, we've also been really conscious of the fact that we need to have a common understanding within the team and goals about actually what a diagnostic will look like and actually how it will respond to the requirements and the particular challenges.